Hello and welcome to this video on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, I've been playing this for, I don't know, like I started playing it last year. I think I got it in Steam sale. Um, but I haven't played it loads because I had sort of like my save progress on a computer and this is my laptop and unfortunately you can't transfer it over as far as I know. So I've just sort of started again and uh, yeah, but I don't really mind because it's a lot of fun and you can go different places and that. So I've decided to start off in Ger not Germany, <laughs> force of habit because I um, speak German. Um, London, start off in London and I'm just going to do probably a short trip. Um, that looks pretty short. Yeah, we'll go to Southampton to deliver ice cream. So, yeah, let's see uh, how this goes. Still, see if I can still remember how to drive this stupid thing. Um, yeah. Oh, is it working? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, yeah. I, I will admit now, I'm really bad at the parking because <laughs> you know, at the end when you finish, um, like delivering your thing you um have to try and park it and in reverse and it's oh it's a nightmare so you can skip that which i tend to do a lot so uh, yeah um oh, so we can see is it the gherkin in the background the um the thing in london, the building in london i mean i've been to london quite a few times but you know um right I'll turn the engine on uh i'm going completely the wrong way aren't i Got to turn around. Wait, hold on. If I can remember which things. No, no. To the right, to the left. Oh my god, this is so confusing. Right. I feel like I've got to turn around. Alright, this could be fun in games. Um, I'll also warn you now, I get loads of like speeding tickets and you know, stuff like that. So uh, don't expect this to be perfect driving, it'll be far from it. Um, so yeah, please tell me this is the exit because I don't really feel like turning around. Hey, right, okay. So let's just adjust the sat nav so it's a bit closer. Nope. So let's turn right, get the old indicator on because I'm a bit pernickety about that sometimes um, this looks lovely and busy um, oh for god's sake right excuse me dude no yellow no, yellow car don't you dare right nothing coming that way nothing coming this way come on car go right come on go 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 <laughs> slowest oh no 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 into the middle into the middle no no don't do it don't do it don't do it no, I'm good. Right. <laughs> now I'm on track. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so. Oh, I've got new mail. Well, that's great. However, I don't know how to check mail while driving. And I feel like that's probably not very safe either. So, oh, this is so annoying. Like, when you change the, the sat-nav, it, like, jams the keys. So, like, you can't move, like, where you're driving. Ignore the fact I'm going over two lanes. Um... I know the route is obviously shorter than real life and uh, um, the time goes faster. However, I've still got no idea how long this could be. So I apologise if this ends up being a very long video, a very long, boring video of me driving through the countryside. Um, so yeah, I do like it though. I mean, obviously the roads aren't... I mean, it looks realistic, but the distance obviously isn't at all. But then think about it, if you were driving for ages, like stuck in traffic and stuff it wouldn't be that exciting so they have to jazz it up a bit um i think when i bought this game it was um how much was it i think it was about three pound or something it was reduced um am i going this way yeah no oh no 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 no, no. <laughs> oh that went well i always notice too late the way i should be going another thing that i end up doing a lot is um dealing with damage and I have to go to a lot of repair places um, to get it fixed which is kind of annoying because when you like get to a place um, it like unlocks it um, and you can only go it like sends you to a place which I don't think you can choose to get it fixed um, and it could be like you're nearly at your destination but you have to go all the way back to just to get your truck fixed and that and it's annoying but yeah this is quite fun, you know, uh, it is realistic in the sense that, you know, the motorway signs are the same and stuff like that. Um, 
Yeah. I don't know what to say. Like, it's, I do enjoy driving in the other countries, um, although it does get confusing because obviously I, I'm from the UK. We drive on the left. You can see that right now. Okay, but then as soon as you go into Europe, everything's on the right and everything gets confusing and you look the wrong way and it's oh, it's stressful. Anyway, we come up to services and you have to like um, fill up with petrol every so often or diesel or whatever. Might pull in here actually just to show you. And it's the stop, 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 stop. Well, I stopped, so that's not bad. <laughs> okay, turn off the engine, and you hold it down, enter to, like, fill it up. You don't have to pay for it. The employer pays for it, which is good. So, can you get in there? Yeah. So, also, you can, like, rest at certain places. I think you can rest here, because your, your person gets tired. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing you have to watch out for. Um, you can already see that, like, the damage is already up to the tyres. Is this car going to let me out? Thank you. Um, and once it gets to, like, the top, like, it starts, oh, God, how do I explain it? Like, the, it, like, flashes and the, car, the engine just turns itself off and you try to get it started again and sometimes it will and sometimes it won't and then you'll get stuck in front of traffic and they'll start beeping at you and, oh, it's really, it can be a stressful game, believe it or not. I, um, I played this game once with uh, my mum sort of um, watching over me and I can't, I haven't got a driving licence. I've got, I mean, I've got a provisional one, but I haven't, like, you know, got an actual one. Um, but my mum has, and she can drive, and she's been driving quite a few years, and it's hilarious to what, like, <laughs> to, to, to watch me and all the mistakes I'm making, and it's just like, after me playing this game, it's like, like, do not <laughs> learn to drive, do not consider it, do not, because, you know, you're going to crash, and she just kills herself, herself laughing, because, I mean, look what I'm doing now, I'm swerving over lanes, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm a lorry, and I'm in the fast lane, like, what, what even, well, strictly speaking, the sign did say Southampton, and that's where I'm going, so, I mean, I'm not wrong technically, am I, but, um, <laughs> what am I doing, 55, I don't, I think they, they cap it, like, 56, you can't really do much more than, like, I don't think I've ever got to, like, 60 or anything, unless, um, I think if you go down here, obviously, you accelerate a bit, but, yeah. So, going down the motorway, it's good, because it's, like, straightforward, and, um, you don't have to, like, think about it too much, especially when there's not a lot of cars around, um, but, you know, the country roads are, like, especially at night, the country roads are... Why am I malfunctioning? Mate, do I need to be turning off it? I feel like I need to be turning off it. Indicate the last minute. But at least I did indicate, unlike some people that just don't bother. And, yeah. Even though this is a game. I've been thinking about getting some more simulators, actually. Like, <laughs> I saw um one goat simulator. Like, I've seen that game before, and it's just like, what is it? Why would you do that? <laughs> Um, also, I was looking into, I think maybe Train Simulator or something, but I'm not so sure anymore. I definitely would like to get another one, but obviously the Steam sale was just finished. So I've picked my, a great time for, you know, buying game jewelry. Um, to be fair, in the sale I did buy, um, I think I did buy like three games actually. Um, I'm just trying to remember what they are. I think I got like Magic the Gathering, like 2014. Um, I got the ship, which I haven't tried. I haven't tried either of them yet. But um, and there was another one which I can't remember, which is very annoying. Oh, Pool Nation. That was it. Because I've done a video on that. Yeah. Was going to do another one, another, another video on it, but <laughs> got a bit impatient and did like pretty much all the matches. Um, but I'm sure I'll find something to um, record, even if it's just like the endurance where you just pot as many balls as you can. Anyway, am I going the right way? Yeah. I was just a bit worried that I'd have to turn off there and now that services. So anyway, looks like a nice day in, uh, where am I currently? London to Southampton, so you know, the uh, southeast, which is my neck of the woods. Um, not specifically, but close enough. <laughs> um, so how long we got? It said in the corner it says 1 hour 25 minutes, but obviously that goes a lot faster. Um, it also gives you a time that you'll get, you'll get there. Which is good because um, you've got like a limit, I guess. Like the faster you get there, or like if you get there late, then you um, get, like, get into trouble with like the employer and stuff like that, and you lose money. And the idea with this game is to like get as much money as you can, and then I think you can buy like um, like new lorries and stuff, and um, I'm not sure what else. But and then you like level up, and you can go longer distances, or 
Um, I think you can also do shorter distances. Not sure what you'd want to do, but... Because this is pretty short as it is. Um, <clears throat> or I think it's actually another one is you can um, deliver better goods, like things that are more expensive. <clears throat> so, yeah. It is, it's quite good, like... I mean, you can't tell specific things like when you're on the motorway, but like for example, when you're actually in like the city, like London, you can tell the buildings and that. And also, um, there's one where you can go to Dover, and I'm from like a rough, like closest, close, close, oh, I can't even speak, close-ish to Dover. Um, so I uh, like when I look at it, it's like God, this is actually quite realistic. So they have, you know, put some thought into it and that. Engine malfunctioning again. Now this is a thing you won't see very often. Uh, a lorry <laughs> overtaking cars <laughs> on the motorway. Here we go. Oh dear. Oh no, I think there was a sign, wasn't there? Like speed. Oh dear. Anyway, we'll just ignore that because it's a game. Thankfully, 50. Oh, I'll do 55. And the speed cameras. Haven't caught me yet. They do take. They do actually charge you. And also, if you crash or you um, go through a red light, they also charge you. Which is good, I guess it teaches you to be a good driver, but <laughs> in this game, you know, obviously you lose money, earn less, etc. Um, yeah, so like obviously, because I'm in the UK at the moment, you do drive, like, your steering wheel is on oops, <laughs> this side whereas actually like your whole lorry changes and actually puts you on the other side so it's not like you're in like an English car speeding oops <laughs> it's not like I need to pull over don't I? maybe it's not like you're in an English car um, in Europe you're literally in a European car I mean, you know, England, UK is part of Europe, but, you know, um, where they drive, drive on the other side. Anyway, so it's good at the top. They show you, you know, the um, signs of where you're going. You need to pull in here, really. Car right next to... Too late. Um, <laughs> this can be so funny, this game, especially if you're really not a great driver. Like, uh, I mean, I'm all right at racing games, because obviously it's go as fast as you can well within reason and win this it's more control you know what you're doing and that and yeah and on the whole hard shoulder it's going well it's going well I feel like I'm good I feel like I indicate once and then all the other times it's just like nah just gonna drift through the lanes don't even care who's behind me I need to get back into that lane don't I well done <laughs> It's infuriating because the cars are just like, just like, hurry up, hurry, nope, nope, I'm, I'm braking. Oh, just about. <sighs> right, down we go. They do make the um, motorways look quite generic, like, when you turn off, they all look quite similar. I mean, obviously that's not realistic, but, I mean, could you imagine having to do each, like, thing specifically? It would take forever, and because it's not accurate, like, the distance, it would just be impossible. <laughs> Um, so, oh, 14 minutes and getting there. Not too bad. So, uh, I delivered my ice cream. Let's hope it hasn't melted. Uh, I haven't cut, I mean, obviously, you get the road signs. I haven't come across one with like deer or anything, or like cows, or like watch out, there's a sheep, or something like that. No, I haven't had anything like that. It would be interesting though, if just like a, a bear or something came across the screen. Not sure if there even are bears like in Southampton, however. You know, always got to be wary. Um, so you can see the little flag on the sat nav now, so I'm reaching my destination. It's not like as soon as you get to Southampton, you're there, you've got to actually find the place, um, which will be like, well, I don't know, no idea, just a delivery depot, or whatever. Going way too fast, need to slow down. Uh, am I just pulling in here? No, I've discovered Southampton, right round the roundabout. Not a 40 miles an hour would be great. I think coming. Nope, right. Which exit am I going for here? I think I'm going third exit or something. So is this car? Ah, uh, nearly. And I think I need to turn left again here. Right. I've got to figure out where I'm parking. Right. Now this is going to be fun and games. <laughs> right, you can just press enter here and leave it and it's like counts as you're already parked i'm terrible at this but i'm gonna give it a go just because just just for youtube this is what i do now right okay you need to turn it around you can see the wheel was turning like the side i need to turn around 
So obviously the big like rectangle at the back is like the cargo. It's probably just got louder all the noises of um yeah, because when you're it's actually quite realistic as in when you're outside, like looking outside, it becomes louder as if you were actually outside it, which is quite cool. But yeah, the engine malfunction again. This is gonna be annoying. It's like the opposite of a car as well, like if you wanna go backwards one way, you have to actually do it the other way. It's oh it's stressful. Um right, okay. It does normally take me a long I mean I will be honest, it normally takes probably just as long to park as it does like the actual journey. It's it's oh but yeah. Right, where are we up to now? Oh, oh that's not so bad. Okay, stop. I love how I'm talking to the you know the lorry as if it can like hear me. But um no 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 that's not what we want. No I'm sorry if there's any cars coming, you're gonna have to deal with this monstrosity that I'm doing. No, that way, that way. Maybe. I tend to go very slowly so I can get it quite like, specific and everything, but it's not always easy. That way? I'll be very impressed if I do it first time, I'm not gonna lie. Especially since I haven't played this for a while. So I'm basically, I'm just going back very slowly and then just guiding, like going left and right and breaking down apparently until it all go in because you can't just reverse straight away I mean obviously you don't do that in vehicles generally do you you have to get it quite specific as well which is kind of annoying but I'm actually doing pretty well god wish I could always do it like this <laughs> um yeah it's not gonna be close enough is it no 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 it's gonna crash into the next thing so like it's all very well getting it you know by the garage or whatever it needs to be actually within the lines oh that was a bit fast Oh, I think it did it nearly. Hold on, because when it goes green, it's done. Hold on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Did it. Now you have to press T to unload it. Wow. I'm actually rather shot. Right, well. So, distance, time, fuel. Although you don't have to pay for that. Damage, you have to pay for. You get experience as well and minus it if you crash, etc. So, yeah. Not too bad. Anyway, so, uh, oh, what was that email? I think it's like, welcome to your, oh, because you have to pick your, your truck. And because I picked um, Iveco trucks or whatever, they're like giving me details on ones like that. Also, fun fact, Grimsby is near where I am currently for uni. So there we go. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, might do another one of these at some point. Um, probably won't be a very long distance one because it's just stressful. Or maybe if I split it into different parts, but uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.